Now in home design we are joined by Hamish who has brought along an expert to talk about better ways to heat and cool our homes. That's right I have brought my expert in and his name is Heath and he is from EES and he is an expert in heating and cooling your home. Welcome Heath. Thank you for having me. Okay, heat pumps, let's kick off there first. Um, they've kept us nice and warm and toasty through the cooler months. Uh, things hopefully are going to warm up. Uh, how important are they to you know, help us keep our homes cool in the summer? Yeah, so we're still in the heating stage at the moment. I'm still using my heat pump at home. Yeah, this is New but... Zealand after all. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, winter's getting longer and longer these, these days. So uh, we start to move on to cooling, I guess, once we come towards the end of spring now. So mm -hmm. winter's getting longer and longer. So if you've got a new build going on, um, do you still need heating if you've got the double glazing and the really good insulation? Do you still need a heat pump? Yeah, so a lot of people are a little bit confused about that. Double glazing and insulation is great for retaining a heat source. But if there's no sunlight or if it's a cold day and overcast, you're not getting any solar gain. So we're still finding a lot of people with new build houses are still using them as, as a heat source. Right, because you can't actually retain what's not there to begin with, can you? That's right. I see. So what is the best time to speak to someone regarding putting a system into a house? As early as possible, really. Yeah, houses are getting bigger and bigger these days in two-storey houses. It's very hard to do it after <laughs> the jib board's gone up. Yeah, yeah. 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 and that's when, mm, yeah, something's wrong here. I'm cold. Yeah. Okay, on that, um, ducted systems. Tell me a little bit about those, how they work. So ducted systems are a modern-day version of your old classic gas central heating. Okay, so these systems will do your heating, they can do your air conditioning, they can help out with ventilation as well. So are they only in ceilings? No, you can have them underfloor also. Okay, okay. And, and, and tell me about costs, because this is what it all boils down to. Are yep. they expensive to run? Costs have come down quite a lot over the last couple of years there, really. So at EES, we manufacture all of our own components, and we install all of our own systems there as well. So that's helped bring costs down quite a bit. And you'd be super warm too. So what about installation? Is that bit expensive? Uh, depending on the solution, um, it can vary and what level of difficulty. It's one of the good things about ducted systems is that they are custom designed for your house. Mm -hmm. But at EES, again, well, we design everything and we did install everything as well. So what about zoning? Uh, is that something we can do? So we can just heat part of the house or cool part of the house? Yes, you can do. So if you're wanting to, say, shut off the bedroom spaces away from the living room spaces, we can look at doing that. It does get a little bit more complex around that, but it is possible. OK, that's good to know. Um, we know that EES, they're heat, your heat pump experts, but do you work with any other energy saving systems? We do. So, so we specialise in hot water heat pump systems as well, which is another main area where you can save um, on your power bills there. What is that? We're... A heat pump that heats your hot water? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> wasn't it? Who would have thought? <laughs> OK, so if anyone wanted to find out more about, you know, how they can you know, heat their home and um, their hot water in a more sort of efficient way, um, how do we go about that? So the best thing to do would be to contact one of us and get one of our experts out to come in and have a look at the house. We do a full assessment and find out what's the best way to either heat, cool, save energy, um, and we can assess your hot water there as well. Because mm. I suppose you get a lot of people who think, I'll get a heat pump and I'll get the one and I'll put it in the lounge room, but they've got a really long house, and that's actually not going to be satisfactory, is it, because you're not going to heat the bedrooms or things? Oh, that's right, yeah. So that's why we come in to assess the needs and what you're trying to achieve there and whether it's just one heat pump in the living space or whether you possibly need something else in that uh, master bedroom or potentially looking at the ducted system solution. Still a lot of people aren't fully aware of what options there are available. Yeah. There's quite a lot of different heat pump solutions that are out there. So that's where we come from. We've I like the sound of that ducted system. I do too. That sounds really good. I like being warm and I'm not warm enough in my house. Hey, that's been very interesting. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Heath and Hamish, both of you, thank you for coming in. Love it when you bring experts, Hamish. It makes you look good. <laughs> and if you do head to their website, don't forget to check out their promotions tab, which is at the top of the website.